The search for aliens is something that interests a lot of people, but did you know until recently it was possible to help in the search for aliens using your own computer? The project was known as SETI at Home, and in this video we're going to have a look at what the project was and how it worked. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. First we need to understand what SETI is. SETI stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. It's a scientific endeavour dedicated to seeking evidence of intelligent life beyond Earth. Scientists involved in SETI use various methods such as listening for signals from space or studying celestial objects to detect signs of extraterrestrial civilizations. SETI at Home was a project launched by the University of California in May 1999. The project aimed to analyse radio signals captured by the Arecibo Observatory and the Green Bank Radio Telescope. A radio telescope is a specialised instrument used to detect and collect radio waves emitted by celestial objects in space, providing insights into the universe's structure and composition. To analyse the huge amount of radio wave data captured, SETI needed a huge amount of computing power, but because of a lack of funding they couldn't afford to buy their own hardware to process and analyse the data. That's where the SETI at Home project comes in. SETI at Home distributed a screensaver program that looked like this that volunteers could download and install on their personal computers. When a computer was idle or not in use, this screensaver would activate, utilising the otherwise unused processing power of the computer to analyse chunks of radio telescope data. The data was divided into small work units which were sent to individual computers for analysis. Each computer would examine these units for specific patterns or signals that might indicate artificial or intelligent origin, as opposed to natural cosmic sources. Participants' computers processed these work units and sent the results back to the SETI at home servers. This collective effort created a distributed computing network, effectively creating one of the world's most powerful supercomputers at the time. The project processed vast amounts of data collected by radio telescopes, and while there were occasional interesting signals that prompted further investigation, none resulted in a verified detection of extraterrestrial intelligence. Many signals detected by the project were of natural origin or were terrestrial interference. SETI at Home officially ended its data analysis operations in March 2020. The decision to shut down the project was not due to a lack of interest or support, but rather a strategic shift in how SETI data would be processed and analysed, moving away from distributed computing towards AI and machine learning. Do you believe SETI at home was a good use of resources or simply a waste? Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.